and then I worked in an insurance company um, for about three years and, and I just thought that wasn't really me either. Um, I'd always sort of wanted to do something, um, I guess, more practical and something um, that, was, that felt like you were helping people. And I, I, I guess in the bank you do to a certain extent, but it's not quite the same. <laughs> And my mum saw an advert for an open day, a radiography open day at, um, well, for UC, it was UCE at that time, um, at the Stafford Hospital, which was near to where we lived. So we went over there and um, when they started talking, I heard about diagnostic radiography and therapy radiography, which I'd never really heard of therapy radiography before. And then um, the more I heard about the two, I decided I was more interested in treating patients than taking pictures of patients to help diagnose them. So um, that's where it all started really. The reason I chose BCU uh, was mainly for convenience. I'd heard they did the course here and at the open evening they'd said that part of the course would be at Birmingham and part of it would be out on a placement and I knew that one of the placements was Shrewsbury which I wasn't far from so I was kind of in the middle of Birmingham and Shrewsbury so I thought if I could get if I could get a placement at Shrewsbury then that would work well. My first job was at the Queen Elizabeth Hospital in Birmingham as a therapy radiographer and I can remember, and you, it was good because you were, all the interviews were while you were still on, as a student, so you knew before you finished the course that you had got a job and, and when you were starting. And, and then I think I was there about a year and then there was a job advert at Shrewsbury which was um, part-time therapy radiographer and part-time research radiographer. And when I'd been a student at Shrewsbury, um, there, was, there was a research team that was quite a small research team and I'd always sort of asked if I could spend time in there and I'd always just really enjoyed it and thought that in the long term that was what I hoped to do. Um, so I went for an interview and got the job, so that was really nice. As a therapy radiographer, the most fulfilling thing is helping people and, and you can't cure everybody. And I, I guess if you go in with the mindset that you can cure everyone, then you're going to be disappointed. But you can, you've got to try, your job is to try and make that experience better. It's somewhere a patient's coming that doesn't want to come, really. Nobody's choice is to go and have radiotherapy. But it's to try and make it as easy as possible. As a research radiographer, um, again, it's good on a, on a daily basis if you feel you've made a, you've helped somebody, but also over many years when you find the results of a study um, and a study has, um, you know, a treatment ha is going to change because of that study, then that's also really good. If somebody was thinking of doing this job, I think the things they would need to be is um, want, want to help people, uh, want to make a bit of a difference. Um, be interested in technology and computers because we do have to use those. Um, be interested in somebody that likes to learn because it is something that's continuous. You can't just get your qualification and think that's it, I can sit back and kind of relax now. I think it's something that you want to be someone that's always um, hungry for knowledge and wanting to find out more and um, wanting to make things better and improve things, not just be happy to think, well, this is what way it is, you know.